Okay, I am back with another Tech Savvy Tutorials Helpful Hint. Um, this is all about uh, social share and the link preview. So I think something that is very highly underrated is um, really making the extra effort to have a personalized image that shows up in that link preview. So uh, if you're anything like me, you're in a lot of different Facebook groups and things like that for networking and for um, just for business reasons to uh, meet potential clients or also network with other entrepreneurs like yourself who might potentially refer you. So um, in those groups, there will often be threads that uh, give you a chance to promote yourself. And something that I've noticed when I'm in those groups is that a lot of times when you look at the links that people have, they kind of just look messy. It's like either the image um, in the link preview is completely not thought of at all. So like, for example, if you're sharing a, a form from type form or something like that, it might just be type forms image versus your specific brand. Um, or it's, it's possible that it's just grabbing your logo or something like that. Logo is better for sure, because at least it's you and it's your brand, but um, it's not quite as specific. So if you're, um, if you're sharing a link about a specific program or a specific offering that you have, it's that extra polish <clears throat> and that extra touch to actually have an image where in the preview, they can see the name of what it is that you are offering or what you're linking them to. So um, we are going to actually look at this in Wix today because I know it's a pretty popular platform for uh, websites, especially for newer entrepreneurs and solopreneurs. So we're going to look at it in Wix um, in the future. Maybe we'll do it in some other platforms if you guys have um, others that you need to see it in. So if you do, uh, make sure you comment on this video so that and let me know what system are you using? Are you in Weebly? Are you in WordPress? Are you in um, maybe Wix, but you need more guidance or whatever, let me know and uh, we will do some more tutorials. But essentially what you want to do, um, we're in the edit mode for the website. You're going to come up here to the, the menu where you can go in and manage your pages. Okay. So you're going to see all this. You're going to come down. You can actually do this for every single page, but I'm just going to show you on the main page for this because they're all the same. So we're going to go ahead and hit manage pages. And then um, when you're here, you're going to see site menu. And this is going to list all of your pages. And like I said, you can do this for all of them, even the hidden ones. Okay. So you're going to come here and you're going to click on these three little dots. And then you're going to click settings. And then you want to actually come to the right here and go straight to social share. And when you're here, it's going to give you an option. This will be blank if you've never been here before. And it's going to give you an option to upload an image. Um, you're going to just, I highly recommend creating a specific image, figure out what the dimensions are for your platform. Okay. So Canva has so many, they don't, they don't call any of them this. So um, it's kind of hard to know exactly what the right one is. Um, I will, I will try to link to the correct dimensions down below the video, but um, <clears throat> you, you can play around with it. Right. So choose one that looks relatively similar. I think starting with like their Facebook post one is a pretty decent place to start. And then you might need to uh, kind of shift your, your text and your image around in order to make it fit properly in this square here. But you would go ahead and click upload image. And then once this looks how you want it to look, then you're gonna be able to um, be sure that that is how it's gonna look in the social share when you do a link preview. So let me just show you, I'm gonna show you a quick example <clears throat> excuse me, um, we're going to just go into Facebook real quick and show what this would look like. So let me uh, grab that. And I'm going to just show you if I was going to link to this on my own um, Facebook, it would be Kelly L. Gable dot Wix site. This is a demo site dot com. And it should give us um, a preview. Hang on, let me go back to here, make sure. Yeah, okay. Um, let's put the, let's give it a hint that this is a website. There we go. And then what you're gonna see, I'm gonna go ahead and hit post so that you can see the image actually show up. 
Of course, it's not going to right now because <laughs> I'm trying to do this for a demo. Okay. Well, let's give it one second because sometimes it does take a minute to actually populate. Nope, it's not going to do it just to be difficult. Okay, so then let's um, actually do it a little bit differently. I'm going to actually come in here real quick. I'm going to show you on something different. So this is not the same. It's not the same thumbnail I just showed you creating, but um, it'll show you the same basic idea. And yes, I love Trello. I use Trello for so many things. Um, if you want to know more about Trello, let me know in the comments because I could do days and days and days about Trello. Okay, so let's just do a quick here. And now we should be able to see, look at that. See, now you can actually see automate your biz free email mini course. So that if somebody saw that in a post or in a comment, um, and I'll, <clears throat> I'll show you how it looks in a comment as well, so that you can see how clean it looks. Um, we'll go ahead and go into my group. Um, and if you are a female solopreneur um, and you're on Facebook and you're not already in this group, I will link to this group down below because you would love this group. It's a very supportive, awesome group of women who are working on their own businesses and um, are, you know, learning to be tech savvy. All the things that I talk about here on the YouTube channel, I talk about there as well. So, um, but in more, in more depth and you have actual opportunities to earn not earn, but ask more specific questions there. Okay, so let me just do a save here and give it a second to populate because it does take a minute. There we go. See how nice and clean that is? When you're looking through a thread, next time you're on Facebook and you're in a group where people are dropping their links and doing promo, take a look at the links that you see through there and, and notice which ones catch your eye. And I would be willing to bet that the ones that catch your eye are the ones that are clean and polished like this versus the ones that are just kind of messy. So anyways, that's pretty much it. Pretty simple. Um, so there is your tech savvy helpful hint for the day. And uh, I hope that you like it.